Hallelujah. That gives you the will and gives you the power to do what you have. So it is God. All of God's promises is in what? His word. His word. In the word. His all his will and his desires. That's why a lot of people walk around and they're financially broke because they don't know the, the word of finance. They're not happy because they don't know that the joy of the Lord is my strength. You see what I'm saying? They don't, if you don't know the word of God, you come to church all the time. But it's the word that you have to study the word and put the word in your heart. So you can claim that. Tell God what he said. And God has to, has to obey or go for the way he said his word. Um, somebody find Luke 18 and 1. Luke 18 and 1. And also we're going to turn to 1 Peter 3 and 12. Luke 18 and 1. Uh, Luke 18 and 1. Just read for me. And he spake a parable unto yes. them to this end. Yes. That men are always to pray and not to think. Hey, men should always do what? Pray. pray. He, didn't say, he didn't say, he said, he didn't say, he didn't say sing. He said pray. pray. Right? And he said shout. Pray. pray. He said speak in tongue. Pray. But men ought to do what? Pray and not do what? Not faith. Not faith. What does not faith mean? Not to give up. Give up. Give in. Yes. Sell out. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. The men should always to yes. pray and not to faith. Right. The call to prayer is God's invitation for you to visit with him. Hallelujah. That's, right. Amen. That's communication. Elder Reggie said last night, when we pray, it's not just you tell God what you want. But sometimes when I pray, sometimes I don't say a word. That's right. All these, I just lay there yes, and I listen to what God is telling That's me. Right. But, right. My, but the Holy Ghost is telling me and my spirit for right. myself. Mm -hmm. So when you pray, prayer is a communication between you and God, between God and you. And prayer helps you become a better person. Mm -hmm. I know my natural father, before he died, mm -hmm. I would sit down and talk with my father. And I would learn some things about him. Mm -hmm. and he would tell some things about myself. Yeah. And I would learn some things about myself by him talking about me. That's right. And it helped me to become better. Yeah. See, God, when, when, when God made Adam and Eve, the Bible tells us that God would meet with Adam in the cool of the day. That's right. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. He met with him. He talked with him. Talk he walked with him. Talk Hallelujah. Yes. And Adam had everything that he needed. Everything. So in proud, in proud in communication, there is God's love that compels us to, to call us to pray. Yes. God loves us. Yes. God loves us. Hallelujah. There's no other creature that he that he has designed like us. Human. Mankind. Yes. Because, he, because he talks to us and he allows us to talk back That's to right. him. Right. Prayer is fellowship with the Father. Hallelujah. Prayer. Fellowship with the Father. First Peter 3 and 12. Let's find that. Read it for me, please. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. First Peter 3 and 12. For the eyes of the, the, Lord, eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. Over who? Righteous. righteous. Over who? The righteous. The righteous. And his ears are open unto their prayers. Hallelujah. So you have to know that's why I'm so glad to be part of the righteous. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. He says, the eyes of the Lord are open or over the what? Righteous. Not over just anybody. Righteous. Okay. He didn't say over people who come to go to church. No. Mm. no. Hallelujah. He said he didn't say over the denomination. No. Hallelujah. He said over the righteous. Right. Those that does right. And his ears to their what? Prayer. Oh, yeah. So you have to know that if you pray the righteous, hallelujah, that God has his ears to your prayer. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. So you mean that when I pray, God listen. That's right. Oh, hallelujah. Listen. When I pray, God listen oh, to what I say. Hallelujah. Oh, thank, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. James 5 and 16. I like this. We talk about prayer. Pray. Hallelujah. Pray. We talk about prayer. Let me tell you something. What builds a spiritual church? Prayer. 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 Not program. You have more, you have all the programs you want. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. You have the best singers, uh -huh. the best praise team. Uh -huh. You can do all types of community service, but if you have no prayer in the church, hallelujah. Right. 
It won't be a spiritual church at all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. James 5 and 16 says what? Confess your faults one uh -huh. to another. Yes, sir. And pray one for another. And pray for one another. That ye may be healed. Yes. The effectual fervent prayer Hallelujah. of the righteous availeth much. Yeah, righteous wait, man wait, wait, availeth wait, wait, much. Wait. The effective effectual fervent prayer, prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Now, that word, hallelujah, I wrote this down, it said the earnest prayer. Earnest, sincere. Sincere prayer, that's right, Pastor Lee. Sincere. Of a righteous person. Yeah. Hallelujah. What does it mean, availeth much mean? Hallelujah. Much power. Has great power. Yes. Not just great power, but great power to produce wonderful results. Yes. Mm. yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. See, yes. it's no good to have power to this church unless you cut the lights on. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so you want some results. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It don't get no good to have power to this church and we still stay in the dark. Yes. So not just not just power, but power that produces wonderful, hallelujah. Mm. Wonderful results. Continue on reading, Elias was a man subject to like passions as Elijah we are. What? Was a man yeah. subject to like passions as we are. Stop. Which means Elijah was a human just like us. That's right. He was a man. The man. Had desires. Had, he had issues too. That's right. Hallelujah. But what happened though? And, and he prayed earnestly he prayed, huh? that it might not rain. Oh my God. And it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. Three and a half, he prayed earnest with a sincere prayer that it would not rain. And the word tells me it did not rain for three and, and a half years. Three and a half years. But what was the result? Now he had power. He showed you he had power. Yes. So it did not rain for three but continue on reading. What was the result of their power? And he prayed again. And he prayed again. Hallelujah. And the heavens gave rain. And the heaven gave rain. And the earth brought forth her fruit. The, the earth began to yield the crops. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. So Elijah, not only did he show he had power, but, but at the end, he had wonderful results. You see that? At the end, the results came. The earth yielded in crops. What a powerful man that could stand out and, and say, it will not rain for three and a half years. No dew fell. Uh -huh. <laughs> no spring fell. Hallelujah. No snow fell. No snow was rain. No was water. The mountains and the earth had no water for three and a half years. Hallelujah. So proud brings results must be based on God's word. Let's say that. Prayer that brings results must be based on what? God's word. Not based on doctrine. Come on. God's word. Not based on what we feel. God's word. Not what we think on what? God's word. Prayer that brings results. I used to go to churches and I used to see deacons pray. Now I was wondering myself, how far are those prayers really going up? <laughs> they even get past the ceiling sometimes. That's right. They pray by everything but the word of God. That's right. Hallelujah. Pray the word. If you want, if, if anything, if you want to bring some results in your life, you got to pray the word. That's it. Pray the word. That's why it's good for you. You got to know the word. That's you know? the prayer of faith. Hallelujah. That's right. You got to know it. That's exactly right. 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 See, I noticed that. I noticed that 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 Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. He never ever had to, he didn't have to lay hands on people to call demons out. Mm -hmm. That was no way in the scripture. He had to lay hands on people. He, even when Satan came to tell him, he had to lay hands on Satan. No, no, he, All he did was gave him the word. Gave him the word. Right. <laughs> the apostles, the great apostles, when they, when they walked the earth and demons came behind them, and read to talk about the demon possessed girl last night. Mm -hmm. The apostle Paul turned around and gave her the what? The word. The word. The word. It, it's the word. And that's what we do all the time. You know, right. I know when we get to a time today where people want to lay people out on the floor and, and have people foam in their mouth and all kind of stuff. All that. That, that ain't what causes, that's not what causes changes. No. It's the word of God. Word it's the word inside of you that causes mm -hmm. changes. Mm -hmm. So prayer that brings results will be based on what? God's word. word. God's word. God's word. Jeremiah 1 and 12 says what? Jeremiah 1 and 12. Let's read that. Let's read that. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Jeremiah 1. Then said the Lord unto me. Then said the Lord unto me. Thou hast well seen. Uh -huh. For I will hasten my word to perform it. Stop it. God watches over his word to perform it. Right. God watches over his word to perform. Hallelujah. I'm getting excited about that. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God watches over what? His word. So how do you get God to perform it? Give him the what? Give him the word. God watches over his word to perform it. So today, we're going to talk about five points. I'm going to do two points today. And tomorrow we'll finish the, next, the last three points. All right. I'll bring you all these back on, you know, I'll text this out tonight and bring it back to you. But, so first we said, prayer that gets results. First you have to pray to what? The, the word. word of God. Mm -hmm. The word of God. 